Well, I'm very proud of these young men. They uh, battled all year long. We faced some adversity, and they battled through it. And um, they're just a super group of uh, young men, and uh, I couldn't be more proud. I, and I told them in the locker room, um, you know, they're one of the, the best teams I've ever seen play high school basketball. You know, I've been around basketball my whole life. And um, these guys are, if not the best team I've ever seen play, um, they're one of them. Questions? I think you guys shot 7.5% from the field tonight. What, where, did, where were you getting looks that enabled you to shoot that kind of percentage? Yeah. Um, I think we just, you know, we ran our offense and played team basketball, and we just found our open guys, and there's nothing that we trust in each other, and our guys stepped up in big plays. What was the mentality going in? Obviously, you got into this big lead, but you didn't have to. He had a strange jam and strange situation, but you got out to the big lead. What mentality led you to this large early lead? You know, I think we were so close last year, you know, and I think uh, looking at how they approached the game, it seemed to me like uh, looking in their eyes and, and everything, there was more um, anxiousness in the Monacan game. And then once we got through that game, I personally wasn't very nervous, and I saw tonight, you know, we even had to reel them in in the locker room. I think they were just ready to go play. Uh, they were so excited. You could see it in their face, you know, and then Nick, I think, hits his first two shots, and he's been a catalyst for us all year, and when he does that, it's Don followed right up after that. And that's where I met and I coached also. Now, when you pinpoint one thing that kind of got you over the hump this year, you, you've gotten to the state level quite a few times, and to get over the hump on it, what was it allowed you to do that? Um, I think the loss at Heritage really helped us um, regroup as a unit and look at ourselves and say we are meetable and we have to play hard every night and give our best every night, um, all 32 minutes. So I think that helped us throughout the season and the middle of the season. And I think leadership, you know, uh, we had four captains this year, Nick being one uh, and Deron being one. And we kind of switched that up halfway through the season because we felt uh, these guys could provide more than they were giving us. And then these two just stepped up, you know, the last after that, like Nick said, after that loss, that setback. And they really challenged each other in practice and in games. And, uh, you know, it was just a beautiful thing to watch. Nick and Jordan, you guys came so close last year, obviously. What kind of statement is a win like this in the, in the fashion in which you did it? Um, it's a great win. I think that it, before this game, people kind of were respecting us the way they thought we should be respected. And tonight, coming out with a by I think 30 plus, it's just a great message to send throughout the college and the state. Got yeah, a question for all the, the, the four players is, is defense. Obviously, a whole bunch of team all year long has been defense. The stats speak for themselves. Uh, tonight was not an exception. What were you working about? X and O's wise, so, uh, they were hoisting up the threes based on desperation. They couldn't do anything inside. What, what was working? And coach, too. Your, your, your thoughts on defense? Um, yeah. I think we just, I mean, we stress that every day in practice. That's the focus of most of our practices. Um, I think we come out, play good team, help defense. Mm. Um, not play everybody the same. Know your personnel and other team. Um, we rushed them on them. So we didn't want to leave their shooters. And we knew who we could help off and who we couldn't help off of. So um, we just try to come out and hold them under 10 each quarter. We try to hold them scoreless in a quarter tonight. That was the goal. I mean, we obviously didn't meet that, but I think we um, won every quarter tonight. So just put four quarters together and played. Um, defense full, fueled everything for us. Yeah, Jimmy, I didn't hear you on your defense again. How about it? Yeah, I really think we learned who their catalyst was, who we should have like, catch the ball, which was like number 20. Mm -hmm. So once we realized he just controls everything, we just didn't let them touch the ball, and then they couldn't get open shots, so they were really struggling there. And then we learned that they just jump, play on offense and take a jump stop, so we could just take charges and just keep our hands up, so that worked. Coach. Well, and Jameer is a big catalyst in that. You know, um, he's taken two or three charges in every game down the stretch. I mean, he might have, I don't know what the state record is, but I'd be interested to see who's taken that more charge than he has in these three games, um, and that fuels everyone else. You know, Duran's played undersized for us all year. You know, we played kind of small ball, and he's so crafty. Um, you know, and I had to learn from watching him, letting him play his game. And 
you know, so I'm like, front end, front end, he's like, coach, I can get the pass, you know, and, and he does. Um, you know, and then obviously it helps when you run the break with, uh, with Nick and, uh, and Jim, uh, Jordan because they're just so adept at passing the ball, shooting the break, uh, and I think that takes the will out of a lot of other teams. And we practice that a lot, but those guys are great at it. You know, and it helps having, you know, Jordan Bell. I, I think he's the, the best player in the state. I've asked about the emotion. Hey, you guys just won a state championship, first time in school history. 50, big smile on Curtis's face. 56 year old school, first championship. Gentlemen, how's it feel? Um, Javon. Honestly, I don't think it really hit us yet. You know, uh, it's kind of, we kind of put in the work and put in the time, and we almost expected it to, you know, turn out our way because we just knew that if we stuck to what our coach taught us and, and did everything we could, then then we should go out and do it, and, and we did. Um, it's just, it's awesome, but I don't think it, it's quite new yet. We get the seniors fall some more when he's coming up. How's it feel? Um, I kind of, I, I feel the same as Duran, like really just hasn't hit me yet, because the amount of work we put in and everything, we just felt like it should go our way. So, yeah, I feel the same. Nick, obviously, you were not here last year, you might thought you might have been, now you are, tell me about it. Um, yeah, I mean, we definitely didn't leave off on the right note last year. It feels a lot, a lot better to get this this year. Um, it just feels like we've been working every day for a long time for this, and it's just going to feel weird tomorrow not waking up from practice. <laughs> I told them they had tomorrow off. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, you're 15th, 16th year at the Hell's program. How's, how's this feel to you, Yeah, it's our 14th year we've concluded, and it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's very exciting. Um, I, I agree with what Jordan said. We'll probably wake up at 2.30 in the morning and uh, realize that we're you know, state champions. It sounds kind of uh, surreal you know, to say right now. Uh, and I think that's how locked in those guys were uh, at the beginning of the game and through the course of the game. And obviously, final question on me, and I'll shut up, is, is Percival has obviously been a small town for a long time. It used to be one school town, now it's a two school town, but still. Uh, talk about what this means to, to the, what is still a small community, Percival, bringing this championship back, any of you uh, I think sure. uh, that just brings a, like a name to Percival. Like, we may be small, but we can play big basketball. And yeah, it just opens people's eyes to that. Just don't, just because you're small doesn't mean we don't pack a big punch. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, of that, how's the support from the community been uh, throughout this playoff run? Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, it's amazing. Honestly, I think it's kind of like the Joan Lloyd, the fans, the love fans. I think it's just one of the best supporting crew a team could have. And with them sticking to us, even when we lost against Heritage, or telling us to keep our heads up, you still got it. And it's just, just wonderful. I love them all. <laughs> um, yeah, the jungle is just amazing. Uh, I've never really seen a student session that big and loud. and and really up, obnoxious, you know. <laughs> but I mean they're they're great. They're, uh, they're all great guys, and the community around us, like families and friends and everyone that just comes support us, uh, they're also great. They come out every game and cheer us on, and we honestly, without them, we, we couldn't get it done. Coach Bond, I, I said last well, so last year. Actually, Coach Fee, uh, have you talked to him? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he sent me a text today. I talked to the son too about this one right here because his son is uh, coaching in Florida at a D2 school and they really like Nick. So, uh, and they're wishing us luck. But yeah, he did send uh, his well wishes to them. He wanted to be down here, but he's broadcasting a radio uh, for a game tomorrow for uh, his school. So, um, yeah, we're very excited, and the community is incredible. I'm very fortunate to uh, coach in a place like that with the support that we get. Uh, and, you know, they, we talk a lot about that, you know, these younger kids look up to these guys, you know, treat them as, you know, almost superheroes. And um, I think that they've carried themselves well, and I'm very proud of them. But it is a, it's a very fantastic place to coach. That's good. Thanks, guys.